Hey guys, it's Trey back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about importing files. So if you've been writing JS on the back end for any amount of time, you are used to seeing this syntax here for importing any of our packages or our local files that we need. This is known as uh, this syntax is known as common JS. This is probably what you're used to. And if you've ever written JavaScript on the front end using a framework like React, then you notice that the syntax is a little different. It looks like this. This syntax is known as ECMAScript modules, and this is the way you import um, packages and files on the front end using something like React, right? So you're probably wondering why don't we use the same thing, and I'm not really gonna get into that. I will post a link in the description so you can read about the differences and everything like that if you're interested. But my goal for this video is to show you how you can go from this to this on the back end. My reasoning for making this video is because I ran into a package um, that was called Chalk and the newest versions will not allow you to use CommonJS to import the package you have to use um, ESM, all right? So this will be known as CJS, and this is known as ESM. So you have to use ESM to import chalk unless you use an older version of the package. What I'm gonna do today is basically show you how you can go from this to this, and we're gonna use the chalk package to show, you know, to, to um, illustrate this for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is set this directory up as a node directory. So what I'm gonna do is type in npm init dash y and that's going to give us our package.json file and now we can install some npm packages so we want to install chalk now so i'm going to say npm i dash s capital s and then we'll say chalk so what chalk is is basically is a package that allows you to pretty much style your console.log output okay so um yeah this is not really a video about chalk i'll post a link in the description you can go take a look at it and do whatever you need to do um but i'm gonna get rid of well, i'm not even gonna get rid of it let's just comment it out we're gonna comment this out and then we're going to import chalk here okay so i'm gonna say const chalk and then we want to import it from chalk okay so we're gonna require that and the way chalk works is um well we'll just change the color of our output for right now so i'm gonna say const blue equals chalk dot blue and then const red equals chalk dot red all right and then we're going to console dot log blue and this is a function so we're going to pass in what we want to put in i'll say hello and then we'll do red and we'll do world all right so we will log hello world um hello is going to be blue world is going to be red all right so let's try to run this all right so we're going to say node index.js and we see we have an issue here so we try to require chalk but it's saying that we cannot require um we can't basically import it this way we're going to have to use esm all right so require esm you see that so we need to use esm but if you've been writing if you like if you're new to this you kind of don't understand how do i change how do i even use esm here okay so the way we can do that is we go to our package.json and then um put somewhere in here we're going to do type and then we're going to do module all right just add another entry say type module all right and then go back to your your index.js file all right and then we're going to comment this out we're going to uncomment the the esm we're going to change this to chalk and we're going to change this to chalk okay and now let's try to run the same thing so we're going to say node index.js and as we can see it worked so the only thing you really need to do in order to use this syntax is go to your package.json file and add this type field here. 
All right, so we're going to put type module, all right? And if we go back, we will be able to use this syntax. There's also another way that you can do this. So say you have an already built project out and it's been using CommonJS and all its files is a really big project. You don't really have the time to go back and refactor and change all your imports from this to this, okay? So what you can do is when you create your new file, so say this index.js is a completely new file, right? And there's still other files that are using this syntax here, right? So what you can do is instead of trying to change the whole type for like basically the whole project, what you can do is instead of doing index.js here, you can rename the file to index.mjs, all right? So mjs will be automatically picked up by node as a module type, okay? All right, so what we can do is we can go back to package.json. We can remove this type, okay? And then now we have index.mjs. So let's run that file again. So we're going to do node index.mjs. And as we can see, it still works, even though we did not specify that here. So now if we change this back to JS, I just want to show you that it's not going to work as you saw before. So let's go back here and we are back to JS. And as you can see, it fails again. So those are the two ways that you can use this syntax. One way is if you only want to use it in this file, you can change this name to be .mjs and it'll work. Otherwise, if you want to have um, the whole project use ejs, then you can go in here and anywhere in here, just create a type field and put it as module all right and that's pretty much it thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next video